Welcome back to Trends and Friends. I'm joined by Jill Lynn Payne from Rocking Pot Training and Kennels. And it's Training Tuesday. It's also Christmas Eve. How and exciting. Santa's coming tonight. Santa is coming tonight. And he's going to put a lot of presents under the tree. Yep. Do but you have those, stockings for the girls? I do have stockings for the girls. And they may already be filled. But I'm sure Santa will bring a few more items that for them. That is very exciting. But, of course, when it comes to our pets, we want to make sure that they're staying safe this holiday. And sometimes items on the tree and maybe those presents that Santa puts under the tree can be a little unsafe. That's exactly right. And tonight is the night that all those things go on the tree and under the tree. So let's talk about on the tree first. If you are um, a family that likes to get together and do a lot of crafty things, that means that cranberries and popcorn are going on the tree. Yeah. Uh, neither one of them are bad for the dogs, but the string in between, if they swallow it, yeah. could be very bad for the dogs because it may twist in their tummy and everything else. So we want to make sure that we are protecting the tree so that the dogs can't get to it or cats right because we have cats yes um and so we want to make sure they're not getting that food there's also other food on the trees such as candy canes or other candy materials some of these candies could have xylitol in them yes. which is toxic to dogs so we want to make sure that whatever we're putting on the tree that the dogs are either away from them or they can't get up to them because they're a little higher what we do at Rocking Pot is we have an X pen, an exercise pen, in front of the tree so the dogs can't actually get to the tree. Okay. Okay. Then we have just regular ornaments. We have wonderful stuffed ornaments that the dogs are like, ooh, squeaky toy. I was going to say, it looks very familiar. It looks very fun. And then we also have those glass ornaments that if they were to grab them, even if they weren't going to swallow them, they could cut their mouth. And so we need to be really careful about how our dogs can approach the tree. Um, and that they're not taking anything off of it. And then we have the gifts under the tree. Most of those gifts don't appear until tonight, which is Christmas Eve. Yes. And those gifts could be toxic. They could be um, something they could swallow and hazard. Any kind of foods. I, I love Hickory Farms. Hickory, every, nobody gets Hickory Farms except on Christmas. But you have those sausages and cheese. And, and not that either one of those is going to be bad for your dog. But if they eat the whole package, you may you end up with upset. a little bit of upset stomach. And then somebody very upset that their present got <laughs> eaten. And then, of course, everybody gets chocolates. Chocolate-covered cherries. You get those great big things, the Godivas. You have all of that. And, of course, as we know, chocolates are not good for dogs. Milk chocolate can just cause dietary upset. Dark chocolates can cause toxicity. Okay. Either way, um, both of them require a vet appointment and then they have to induce vomiting and that is just not a good way to spend your Christmas Absolutely day not. with your dog being sick. And so all of those items, food items or, or things that your dogs are gonna get into, then we just have little puppies, right? Oh my gosh, unwrapping ribbons, grabbing tinsel, maybe swallowing ribbons, and then we have, again, blockage issues. So we wanna make sure that we're protecting what's on the tree and under the tree from our dogs. So as she mentioned, just making sure to be proactive about it, maybe just kind of paying a little bit more attention this Correct. year with your puppies. And of course, if people want more information, where do they go? They can um, get us on the web at www.rockingpaw.com or they can visit us on Facebook at Rocking Paw Dog Training and Kennel Suites. Perfect. All the information is on the screen. And of course, you want to keep in mind, if you get that Christmas puppy, we're going to be talking about that coming up. But if you get the Christmas puppy, she's a great person to call to get them trained. Of course, we'll have more Trends and Friends after the break.